Yeah, I mean, this is one of those situations that, uh, you know, Nick Saban talks about a lot of the time. You know, it's always sometimes you need a loss, but it's always better to be able to teach off of a close win like this than it is to have to have that loss. You know, now Bruce Pearl can get on his guys and be like, guys, why did we only get to the free throw line 11 times? You know, why did we, you know, why were we settling for some of these shots? You know, Jabari Smith's going to have some off nights. Uh, you know, there, so we got to have, they got to have better ways to, uh, like, you can't shoot 30% from the floor. That's just not winning basketball. But, you know, credit to them. They found a way to win. And that has a lot to do with KD Johnson. You know, he really has just been a spark plug for this team. You know, he's, he's one of the best energy guys and uh, heat check guys in the entire country. You know, when he's hot, he's going to shoot it from wherever he gets the ball. He's going to give you all the energy that he has until there's nothing left. And, uh, you know, his stare is uh, one of the scariest stares I can remember in college basketball here recently. So, you know, that was just Katie Johnson putting the team on his back last night and being like, like of the 11 free throws, he had five of them. So, you know, he was doing his thing. And it's just, uh, you know, when Jabari Smith is going to struggle and, uh, you know, tough road environment, in the SEC, he was due for one of these games, uh, and he'll learn from this, but uh, the rest of the team has to step up, and, uh, you know, that's where they struggled a bit, and, uh, and you know, it was just good to see that they were able to grind out that win because, uh, you know, that had let down game written all over mm-hmm. it from the opening tip-off.